Okay, real, real quick, it's, uh, I was um, working out the motor mount situation, trying to figure out the right height. You know, I had this, this rear one, you know, cut out to where, um, you know, the original mount that was underneath there is, is holding the, it bolted to the rubber. But my height, I needed to adjust. So this I'd made up for the, the front. Um, you know, to fit in that, but um, I decided once I I got into it a little further, I want this to be wider. So I'm just going to go ahead and use it for the rear platform. Instead of building a box, I'm just going to, you know, duplicate this again for the front. So, um, <clears throat> but while I had the engine sitting here and I, you know, this is my little cutout for the this back here, which is a different thickness than any of the spare stuff I have. Um, so I got the heights where it looked like, okay, that's, that's square and even and level. Um, then I realized that there was a little bit of movement in, uh, in this bearing, you know, up and down. So I'm like, well, I'm hoping that's normal. It's a brand new coupler and bearing. Um, you know, but I didn't really notice it before, you know, there was a point where I did have some weight on that from the engine, you know, not intentionally, but it happened. So I'm like, you know, I can't imagine those bearings are that weak, but I really don't know what they are. It's like, you know, it's all sealed up inside of here. And I assume you just replace this whole thing if you ever had a bearing issue. But regardless, because there is some movement there, it's not much, but there is some. Um, you know, some, some bearings are, you know, most of the bearing housings I deal with, like, you know, if you have a, um, you know, housing with the bearing on both sides, you know, and then seals on both sides, you know, I've dealt with those before, like in, you know, water pumps, recirculating pumps, things like that. Um, you know, it's got a bearing carrier. There's two bearings, you know, up and down movements and no, no here, you know, this is a different style. There may just be one bearing in there. It, it may carry a little bit of movement, you know, by on purpose for, you know, the motor t torsion or, or whatever it may be. And, you know, I think if it's mounted right, it's all centered. The motor's torque wouldn't, wouldn't necessarily pull it off center or, you know, at least not enough to have much of an effect. You have a, you know, rubber coupler in here. It's going to, it can take, it's pretty thick. It can take a lot of, you can absorb a lot of, uh, torsion you know so you know and you're talking about a a jet pump it's 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 basically um you know as low as the water is there's nothing solid to it um, unless you suck something up and get it stuck or whatever um so anyway because there's some movement there um, i decided well i'm really need to mount the pump in there get the shaft inside of it um you know to finalize my motor mounts on the bottom because you know, motor mounts in the bottom are basically setting the height, you know, basically setting where the coupler, you know, the alignment to the coupler, you know, and after that, the ones on the sides, the motor mounts on the sides, you're pretty much there just for to stabilize things, you know, because they, if they were holding the weight, they would just, you know, they would move a lot. Um, these are obviously hold the weight, these, these hard rubber mounts, so... Um, anyway, because I had to raise the intake ring, mounting ring, you know, I had that discrepancy on the, the hole in the back now of 3 sixteenths, um, difference. So while the intake was in, I marked the inside of the top. So I'd know where to cut the bottom. I think, you know, I'm, I'm still thinking about possibly filling that in it's just, it's just three sixteenths I don't I don't, really don't think there's going to be a seal issue there you know maybe it's a waste of time I and mean, I can only do it later but I mean once the boat's done you know it certainly wouldn't be as easy you'd have to you know pull the pull the intake at least you know and pulling the intake I don't think it's going to be that difficult just because you know well you would have to move the motor front forward yeah you have to lift it up a little bit and move it you may not have to disconnect everything but 
you have to move it forward enough to get the coupler out, for, out away from it so you could lift the, the intake out. So I don't know. I'm going to I'm going to go ahead and work on that. I'm going to look at it again. You know, I, I marked the inside of this. Um, you know, when you're looking at that, I mean, this extra room here is your ceiling surface. So, and this is on the suction side of the pump. So I, I'm probably just not going to, not going to fill that in. I really don't see a need. There's just plenty of ceiling surface there against the transom, you know, so yeah, I'll just leave that alone. I need to elongate this and just, and on, on the transom, cut out the top section. That's just, just sticking down now. Um, I'll put I'll put this back in. I'll assemble the the pump, um, you know, with the shaft going into the coupler, and then I'll continue to to work on motor mounts. So.